Welcome to Max ECU Training Part 9. This video we're going to be taking a look at programming our outputs from our Max ECU. Output control is used to set up things like fuel pumps or cooling fans, or even if we're dealing with something like a boost solenoid or idle control solenoid. Now there's going to be a variety of different output configuration types. We have both a high side and a low side type output and a basic on off or a pulse with modulated style control we can use in our output programming. It's gonna be important we understand the fundamentals here so that when we're going and configuring things, we're gonna be matching how things are wired on the vehicle. I'm gonna be going through a couple common examples of both of these so that you can understand what to select for the application you're working with and understand what is going on with all types of our output control. Without further wait, let's jump into our video so we can check all this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at setting up our output control for the Max ECUs using our Mtune software. Our output control is necessary to control things like fuel pumps or radiator fans or idle control solenoids, boost control solenoids, variable cam control solenoids, the list goes on and on. There is a ton of things we can control with outputs and we need to make sure we're understanding the fundamental differences in wiring and the circuit types with output control so that we are controlling that device properly and we don't damage our max ECU. Let's go in here and take a look at our outputs and start to talk about the basics here. Then we'll talk about some programming details for some specific examples, the most common examples you'll find with your output control. So if we go here under our navigation pane, we're gonna go into our outputs tab right here, click on this, and we're gonna find that we have two uh, outputs here that are already configured, so TAC output, radiator fan control. We'll come into these and take a look at that in a little bit, but right now I wanna turn our attention here to output configuration. This is where we assign the outputs we're working with from our max ECU. Now depending on which max ECU you have, you'll find that your outputs here may vary. My particular box that I have here is a Max Pro ECU, so I have a total of 16 available outputs here. So GPO, or General Purpose Output, 1 through 16. Now we also have, in conjunction with our GPO outputs, our injector outputs, and our ignition outputs. Now these are specific to control these devices, so in this case I have 8 injector outputs, 8 coil driver outputs that can control up to an 8 cylinder engine, in direct fire, uh, ignition, and uh, spark configurations. We'll talk about uh, going in here and potentially using these outputs for another function a little bit later in the video. But let's focus right now on our general purpose outputs. These are typically what we're gonna use to control a device. Now we need to understand some fundamental differences here in the output circuitry. In our GPO 1 through our GPO 9, notice that the software is labeled here, switch to ground. This means this is a switch to ground or low side output control only. What this is going to mean is we're going to send a ground output from this particular output pin to control a device. Now the other alternative to a switch to ground will be known as a high side or a 12 volt output. We can find here our GPO output 15 and 16 is set as a 12 volt driving. This is going to be the difference in the internal circuitry to send an output through our max ECU to the device we're trying to control. Sometimes we'll be controlling things and most commonly controlling things with a switch to ground or a low side output. But we also have the alternative way to control things using a 12 volt output. Now one thing we need to realize here, regardless if it's a low side or a high side output, we need to keep in mind that whatever we're controlling, whatever we're trying to turn on with our output, uh, we need to realize that we can't sync more than 1,000 milliamps or one amp through our output. So if we're dealing with something like an idle control solenoid or a boost control solenoid or a variable cam control solenoid, those are gonna typically pull between 500 to 750 milliamps worth of continuous draw through the circuit. So in that situation, we don't have to worry about overdrawing or straining the output control here from that particular output pin and not damaging the max ECU. So on those low current draw type of output controls, so again, idle control, idle control solenoid, boost control solenoid, variable cam control solenoid, we don't need to go in and have a relay between our max ECU and the control solenoid. Now when we're dealing with something like fuel pump control or cooling fan control, we have a high 
amperage draw through the circuit. So if we're just trying to turn on, um, let's just say for example here, we're trying to turn on a radiator fan or a cooling fan. And let's say we wire, on a fan we have two wires, we have a power and a ground. Let's say we wire the power to a 12 volt source and we are going to turn on the ground or ground the other wire through the actual uh, control uh, for the rad fan or cooling fan. We'll find that if we try to use the max ECU here, it's going to try to sink anywhere between five to maybe even 20 or 30 amps through turning that fan on. That's gonna almost instantaneously fry the circuit. It's too high of a load draw or a current draw on the output. So regardless if it's going to be a 12 volt configuration or a switch to ground low side configuration, we cannot use our output to directly control the device. This is where we need to have a relay in line between the device we're working with and our max ECU. Now, when we're talking about our relay control, let's break this down here so we can understand the differences of how we're gonna be wiring in a relay. This is some of the fundamental things that we need to understand again, understanding how the relay is wired or how we're supposed to wire it, and then what we're selecting here for the output type that we're wiring to the pin that we're trying to use, either a low side or high side output. Now coming up on screen here. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.